hello, welcome back to Red Ted Art. Today we're turning corks into a spring tic-tac-toe game. Um, lots of fun and lots of options if you don't have paint or felt to make these. Um, I give you some alternative suggestions. So come on, let's take a look, see how they're made and how to play tic-tac-toe. So to make our tic-tac-toe, you will need some corks, ideally eight, but 10 would be really nice as well. Um, I'm using these sort of champagne corks, but you can use ordinary ones as well. I'll show you some um, uh, examples at the end. You will need some pens, uh, some glue, some scissors. I've used some felt, but you can use some paper as well and some paints. But again, I've got options at the end where you don't have to use paint. So to begin with, we are indeed <laughs> going to paint our corks. I'm going to make a yellow one and a white one and then we're going to decorate them. So you're going to need four chicks. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to just paint all around the, oops, <laughs> I made a mess already. Paint all around the outside and then I'll put it on my paper and do the top. So then hopefully I won't get too much on my fingers. Now with these paints, uh, these are um, called gloss enamels. I've also used acrylic. If you don't have those, you can use poster paints. Uh, you can add a little bit of glue to it to um, make it shinier. You might need two layers, but you know, just see how it goes and then make a decision. So that's gone round it. So I'm gonna carefully put it down and now paint round the top. And then carefully <laughs> finish it off. There we go, yellow one, done. I'm going to use the white one. So this is an acrylic paint because I don't have this in white. It's always about working with what you've got. Also, you know, I'm making white bunnies and yellow chicks. You know, if you've got different colours, that's fine. You know, you could have, I don't know, pink bunnies and blue chicks. You just want to have contrasting colours if you can. Or like I, I'll show you at the end of this video, um, you can just use paper and plain corks. That also works really well. So I'll get this one all nice and white. So the white is actually quite a strong color. In this case, I might only need one layer. Let's get rid of those little sticky bits. And of course, I'm making bunnies and chicks today. You know, you could make anything. You could make little monsters. <laughs> you could make, uh, I can know, a Pokemon character. You could uh, do all sorts. There we go. Did get some on my fingers, but that's okay. Tap that on and then let these dry. Okay, so let's go and get some I made earlier. So here are two I did earlier. Let's decorate them as a chick and a bunny. So I'm gonna use some Sharpies. You can use Posca pens as well if you've got them. Um, basically, as per usual, use what you've got. You can use black paint too. This time I'm just gonna do a little eye, a little eye. Put that away. And a little mouth. I might have to use a Posca pen actually. I think this pink doesn't show so strongly, but we'll see. There we go, cute. And then for the bunny, I'm going to do a pink nose. And then I'm going to do a little eye that's shut and again and some whiskers not too strong <laughs> and a little tummy and then on the back a little bunny tail great so now they need, well, the bunny especially needs the ears. And I'm going to also put on some little wings for the chick. Like I say, these are optional. You don't have to add the, the wings. Although I think if you're making a bunny, you do need the ears. Here's one.
And I actually discovered that my print stick is strong enough, but I'm actually going to use quite a lot. I'm just going to put like a big blob here and that will really help secure it. So, and actually it's strong enough, but you can use hot glue, you can use PVA. There we go. Oh, ta -da, the chick is done. And now we'll repeat the same for the bunny and its ears. Try and find a spot that's good for cutting into because I like to uh, be economical with my felt. Cut two at the same time if you can so that the same size and they match. With the wings I don't think it matters so much because they're on opposite sides but the ears you do see. And then you put those at the back. Again, nice blob of glue. There we go. <laughs> That's your chicks and your bunnies made. Now you need to make three more of each and then we can have a go at tic-tac-toe. So here we are with three and three, I mean four is best obviously. I just wanted to show you these other cork versions that we made. Okay, they're not obviously as bright and as pingy as if you're able to paint them, but in case you don't have the materials at home, you can just decorate it with paper. So this is literally paper and pen, paper, pens, um, to decorate our chicks and uh, bunnies. And you can get silly like this one, um, or just keep it simple, and you can still play, make and play this game. So if somebody's been drinking a lot of wine in your house, this is the craft for them. Um, yeah, the last thing, so I just wanted to show you what it looks like. I've now got four strips of ribbon. I start with chick number one. My opponent places a bunny here. I now see if I can get a three here or a three here. So I'm gonna try here. My opponent knows what's going on, so he's gonna stick one here. I'm thinking, let's put one here. And oh no, my opponent has got three in a row and wins. So that's how you play tic-tac-toe. Um, it's super easy, super fun, and you can play it over and over again. So I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Above all, keep watching, keep making, and I'd love to hear you, see you here again soon. Take care. Bye.